Hi, everybody. I'm going to start my Zoom presentation. Hold on just a second. All right. So this is the Henderson County Apple Orchards and Year-Round Pollinator Protection follow-up to <clears throat> the Garden Jubilee. A Garden Jubilee attendee asked me to summarize my speech on YouTube so gardeners could benefit and protect pollinators year-round. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Michelle Tennant. I'm the president of the Henderson County Beekeepers Association. This short video summarizes the storytelling and the tips from my speeches given at the 2024 Garden Jubilee here in Henderson County. I've adapted it to reflect year-round advice for gardeners in the Smoky Mountains or from other parts of the world um, who may be interested. Um, so there is the... Uh, at visit hendersonvillenorthcarolina.org is the mention of what I actually talked about this uh, spring, earlier this spring. I'm recording this in August. Um, so, you know, one thing that I want you to know is I'm a passionate protector of pollinators. Um, we host a bee school every January and February. If, if you're honey beekeeping curious, check us out. And if you'd like to find local honey to sweeten your tea or local mentors to teach you how to build an apiary to pollinate your gardens and orchards, um, then you can actually uh, uh, go to our website at hcbeekeepers.org. You can also, if you see a bee swarm and you'd help with that, you're going to see a little uh, area on the website that says um, swarm list. And that is going to connect you with club members who specialize in moving swarms to protective apiaries. Okay. So this year we did something great uh, in the community. You might see these signs around called pardon the weeds. We're feeding the bees. And this is actually um, this, the, these signs were sold at garden Jubilee to fund honeybee research. And they're still available while supplies last at hcbkeepers.org. Uh, so now on to our presentation and our storytelling. So this is, you know, uh, the image here is taken from the Times News at blueridgenow.com. We want to give them props for some of the images that I have used here in this presentation. They're a great partner to Henderson County Beekeepers Association. Nestled in the heart of Western North Carolina, Henderson County has a rich history of apple orchards, and it stretches back over a century, if you didn't know that. Our apples are more than just a local treasure. They are a symbol of the community's hard work, tradition, and connection to nature. So, <clears throat> it all began in the late 19th century when settlers brought apple seeds to these fertile Appalachian hills. These orchards flourished and Henderson County soon became one of the top apple producing regions in the United States. But the success of these orchards had, has always been dependent on one tiny yet mighty partner, the pollinators. Pollinators, like honeybees, are essential to apple production. They transfer pollen from flower to flower, ensuring a healthy and bountiful harvest. But it's not just about springtime blooms. Pollinator protect, protection happens year round and it's a commitment that all of us can make. This is a little picture of my apiary in East Flat Rock and that's me in my bee suit with my husband behind me. Whether you're a farmer or a backyard gardener, there are simple steps you can take to protect pollinators throughout the year. Let's take a look at what you can do each season to keep our pollinators thriving. Uh, first, on April 29th, 2024, the Times News, blueridgenow.com, published a front page article on fun facts about honeybees and what to do if you see a swarm. You can find it online. Hint, contact a beekeeper listed on the swarm list at hcbeekeepers.org. In spring, plant native wildflowers like black-eyed Susan and bee balm. These early bloomers provide essential nectar for emerging pollinators or coming out of winter. Don't forget to create a bee-friendly water source. Shallow dishes with pebbles are perfect for thirsty bees. And here's a picture of one 
from buddhabeapiary.com. Summer is all about variety. Plant a mix of flowers like cone flowers and milkweed to ensure continuous blooms. Be mindful of pesticide use. Opt for organic methods and apply them in the evening when pollinators are less active. This is a picture from an arboretum. As the seasons change, plant late blooming flowers like goldenrod and asters to support pollinators preparing for winter. Leaving some garden debris like fallen leaves and stems provide shelter for bees and other insects. This is a picture from Donna Long, and you can see her website, DonnaLLong.com. In winter, provide shelter by installing bee houses or leaving standing deadwood. Use this time to plant your spring garden, choosing a diverse range of plants that will bloom at different times to feed pollinators throughout the year. And this is an, a great article if you'd like to figure out what to do in the winter. And I did some research for you and found it at seeds.ca. Over here, this is local now. Um, you can find, you can actually go visit this in Flat Rock Park. Uh, it is uh, maintained by conservingcarolina.org. You can see it at Hendersonville-pollinator-trail. Uh, consider dedicating a part of your garden to native plants and wildflowers, creating a year-round habitat for pollinators. And don't forget to support local conservation efforts. Together, we can make a big impact. By working together, we can ensure that Henderson County's apple orchards remain a vibrant part of our landscape for generations to come. Protecting our pollinators is not just about preserving the past, it's about securing the future. Thank you for watching this video and remember every season is the season to protect our pollinators. Now here's a summary. Year round pollinator production tips for gardeners in the spring. Plant native wildflowers, black-eyed Susan, bee balm, wild bergamot, provide water sources, shallow dishes with pebbles for bees to drink as they're emerging from the winter trying to make it, okay? In the summer, ensure continuous blooming. Plant cone flowers, milkweed, phlox, and limit pesticide use. Opt for organic methods apply in the evening. The pesticides do affect pollinator reproductive habits. Fall, plant late blooming flowers, goldenrod, asters, and leave garden debris. Fallen trees and stems provide winter shelter for all kinds of insects, not even pollinators. Winter, install bee houses, provide shelter for solitary bees and other pollinators. And then plan your spring garden. Choose a variety of plants for continuous blooms. Year round, all year, create pollinate, pollinator habitats Dedicate a section of your garden to native plants and wildflowers. Support local conservation. Engage with local initiatives to protect pollinators. And remember, every season is the season to protect, to protect our pollinators. So I've hope, I hope you've found this useful, and I look forward to seeing you again, uh, perhaps in future Garden Jubilees. Bye-bye.